base. There it is, dude. San I4 vlogging in my shorts. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Eric Randall, uh, I'm a meteorologist and I've just spent a year in Antarctica. So Eric, you've settled into your new home for a year, what happens next? Go through the process. Yeah, sure. So that's kind of when takeover takes place. Um, takeover is just a period of time when there's about 80 people on the base fixing, maintaining, um, teaching and training all the new guys that are going to stay there for the rest of the year. Um, people have their various jobs, assigned jobs that they need to do. So that will be like maintaining the generators and that kind of thing so that there's no major problems throughout the year for the team that stays behind. Um, so there's only nine of us that, that stay behind throughout the whole year. Um, so we need those like extra set of hands to help us sort out the major problems. We had a fantastic team. I think there's no way nowhere else to put that. I'm, I'm very grateful for them and honestly I would call them brothers. I think that tends to happen, you know, spending time with such good guys and also in such close proximity for an extended period of time. So tell us a little bit more about the daily run of things at the base. Okay, this is my observational deck. So I'll climb up this ladder and then view the sky from this dome here. And this will obviously give a nice viewpoint for the sky and what's happening around us uh, for the observations used in the meteorological office. This is the South African Weather Service office, my office for the year. This is where I did all my work, all my operations, looking after the sensors, sending out observations to Cape Town. And this is the gym where I spent quite a bit of time throughout the year. Very nice to come in here. Um, spend some time alone, which often was the case because, as I said, there's only nine of us. This is the sauna room. Very nice to come after gymming. A shower there. No one's inside, hopefully. <laughs> Thank goodness. Um, there's a sauna. Nice and cozy. So this is where we ate our dinners for the entire year. Sorry about the alarm. Something's getting going wrong at the moment. The waste room, very important room. Uh, we have different types of wastes that have to be taken back to South Africa. It can't be left in the, oh, sorry, on the continent of Antarctica. And here is the bar area slash table table tennis room. Um, just another room for entertainment. Okay, here's a nice cool little feature. <laughs> we get free ice in Antarctica. <laughs> ice machine. I find that quite ironic. You got a little library area. Very nice to just come and chill out here. Nice little room, very relaxing, nice and quiet as well. Here is the TV room. This is where we watched movies throughout the year, although we didn't really watch too many in this room. Um, but yeah, nice, all the board games are on the shelves here. Yeah. I'll touch in Alan for the radio room. Alan for the radio room, thank you. That's our PA system. We've got the change rooms up here. This is where we wear all our outside gear. Um, get ready for outside activities and work. Today, myself and JC, the doctor, we've had to grade the runway using that grade over there because the runway throughout the course of the year has been covered by snow. Uh, you know, just obviously the wind blowing in and whatnot. So there are Germans coming now on the 30th of November, seven days time, a week from now. And they need to know where the runway is in order to land. <laughs> something about smelly yeah so, so it's not what people initially think uh, so smelly is just a term given to what was previously known as snow melter um, snow melter went down to smelter and now is currently sitting at smelly which is the term that everyone on the base uses for for this for this operation um, so smelly is basically a massive container in the ground that is situated around 50 to 100 meters away from the base and what you do is you go down to the smelly and shovel snow into this container. All right, so once the uncovering process is finished, we have the filling of the smelly. And done. 
basically has an element at the bottom replicating the same process as a kettle, essentially. That element will heat up the snow, that snow gets melted into water, and then the water gets transported to the base and then is situated in the containment facility within the base, which is up to, I believe, 36,000 liters. Um, but something interesting about that water is it is demineralized, so it's pure H2O. Um, and the water that we drink here in South Africa is mineralized, so we get all the minerals necessary for our bodies. It's drinking water like a bottle. When I'm, when I'm finished, <laughs> try and get sponsors for, for beard oil products. <laughs> However, that water in Antarctica takes away the minerals from your body. So two things happen. You have to replenish, number one, you have to replenish all those minerals by drinking juice or something other than water. And number two, it doesn't really quench your thirst, hence why you have to drink these other liquids as well. So you could think that you're drinking a liter of water when in fact it's two liters of water and you feel the same way as you would if you've only drank one, one liter. <laughs> yeah, very, very